Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how you can create a button and when the user clicks that button, you can create a connection between a file that you want your user to download when he clicks it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So when you're in your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to your page where you want to set up that clickable button and connect the file to it. In my case, I've already created a demo page where I've implemented an Elementor template. And what I want to do is scroll down until I see the button that I want to connect the file to. For this example, will be compare plans and you want to click it so you will be able to edit it. Next thing that you want to do is head over to the link option right over here and then click the wrench icon right next to the dynamic tags right over here. Now, this would open up a few more options. We have this custom attribute. So the first attribute that you want to do is set up here the download and then put a pipe. In order to access this pipe character, what you want to do is hit the button right above your enter key on your keyboard or just beneath the backspace key on your keyboard. Next thing that you want to do is specify the name of the file as it appears on your WordPress website. And if you don't know the exact name of your file, what you want to do is head over back to your dashboard and head over to media. And then in the media, you want to upload your file. In my case, what I did, I've uploaded the CSS flags box by CSS tricks, which you can download from their own website. So head over, click the image. And what you want to do is head over to the end of the name of the file or the file URL and take only the last words. So in that case would be CSS flagsbox posture.png. So that exact name, not anything else. You want to copy it. And once you've done that, we'll head over back to our editing page in Elementor. So over here, you want to just paste it right after the pipe character. So just paste it and then hit update. And now when we are going to visit this page in a new tab, so let's hit preview changes in the eye icon right next to the update button and let's scroll down to this button. And now when we click it, we'll be able to download it. So let's click it. And as you'll be able to see, it will open the folder where I want to save this file. So in my case, it will be OneDrive personal pictures. And you'll be able to see that the name is already corresponding to the file name, CSS flags box posture. And the type of the image is also corresponding to PNG image. You just hit save and that will download this image to your computer. And that's pretty much it. I really hope this tutorial helped you. And if it did, I'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any tutorial that I post on this channel on WordPress, Elementor or WooCommerce. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.